Hey everyone, it's time to dive into a long-awaited sequel, Gladiator 2. Now before you sharpen your swords and ready your shields, let's see if this film really lives up to the legendary original. First off, we need to talk about the story. The plot picks up years after Maximus's heroic demise. Our new protagonist, Lucius, the grown-up son of Lucilla, is now stepping into the arena. The movie does a solid job of tying up loose ends and expanding the universe we fell in love with. But does it capture the same magic? Well, it's a mixed bag. The visuals are undeniably stunning. Ridley Scott is back at the helm, ensuring that every battle scene is as epic and brutal as you'd hope. The CGI is top-notch and the set designs are immersive. You can practically feel the grit and grime of ancient Rome. However, great visuals don't automatically mean a great movie. Performance-wise, Lucius, played by Timothy Chalamet, brings a fresh yet familiar energy to the screen. He's no Maximus, but he holds his own with a nuanced performance that adds depth to his character. The supporting cast, including returning actors and new faces, does a commendable job. Yet there's something missing. The original Gladiator had this unique blend of raw emotion and intense action. This sequel tries hard to replicate that, but it often falls short in the emotional department. The stakes don't feel as high and some of the character arcs seem rushed. It's like they tried to cram too much into a single film. The soundtrack by Hans Zimmer, though not as iconic as the original, still packs a punch. There are moments where the music elevates the scenes, giving you those goosebumps, but it doesn't quite reach the heights of Now We Are Free. Now for the big question, does Gladiator 2 live up to the original? In some ways, yes. It's a visual spectacle with strong performances and thrilling action sequences, but if you're expecting it to capture the same emotional weight and iconic status as the first film, you might be a bit disappointed. Overall, Gladiator 2 is worth watching, especially if you're a fan of the original. It's not flawless, but it's a respectable sequel that expands the story of a beloved classic. So what did you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more reviews. Until next time, keep watching and I'll see you at the movies.